okay so i want to show you guys how to do it this is going to be a quick little video on how to uh under base a job in corel and i've got this uh, heart design and i want to print it in a pink and in a white and it's already color separated in pantone colors and everything so i could ideally print this like this and i'm going to show you what will happen well i don't think that's going to show on my recorder but if i was to go in and print this um the way that i want it to it would put pink on one layer on one sheet and white on one sheet and then um my pink wouldn't be solid it would have these little holes in it and so i'd have to go in and so i could either lay down pink first and then print white and doing that on a black shirt which this is my little black t-shirt uh background which is a solid black but let's say if i'm printing a black t-shirt uh with a pink on it I want the pink to be real vibrant and I want to do a white base on that pink so uh, up underneath it and if that makes any sense to you guys so we would lay down ideally what I would want to do with this design is lay down a white under base and then print pink on top of it okay if that makes any sense so what I want to do here to do that really fast is I've already got this in Pantone colors let me just show you so some reason that's okay there we go that's Pantone and that is transitional white and these all right here are transitional whites so the first thing that I want to do is I want to create a new page and on this new page I'm going to go in over here and I'm just going to select everything. And then once I go and select everything, I want to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it onto my new page, which is here. And I'm going to go uh, paste. And so I pasted it onto my new page and I just want to make everything be a solid black because this is going to be my underbase. Now on this underbase, I want to take uh, the heart because I'm going to print. I'm going to take this. This is going to be my white layer and I want to print the magenta or the pink layer directly on top of my white. So I want to do a full white layer here. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, my black and I'm going to do an outline on it. I'm going to do a two point outline. Okay. But I want that outline color to be white. And so I'm going to. Let me just right click it it'll be faster loop, loop, loop. work slow with the recorder on there so now I've got a white outline and just to show you that there is a white outline there that's a white outline so what I did just then is I just choked that design so I'm making this black be just a little bit or or my white base once i print this of course this will be white making that be just a little bit smaller than that pink that's going to go on top of it so the pink will go all the way out to the outside of this design okay so now i've got my under base layer so let me just take this off so this is my white underbase. I'm going to go back to my front page. And now on this page, I can either leave this page together so I can see what the design looks like, or I can do my pink uh, alone 
by itself and what I'll do just for the sake of um, naming all of this stuff is I'm going to rename this page and this page is going to be original design design okay and then my second page I'm going to rename this here this is going to be under base okay and then I'm going to make a third page and this third page will be my pink pink which will be two which will be my layer two okay so I'm going to go back to my original design and just go in and select all go up here and copy it go to my pink layer and edit and paste it okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of just make sure it's not all grouped together okay and I'm going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of the hands okay and then we're going to just convert this to black and we can leave that there so now we've got and I could also take this black and I could bring it out by adding another point on it and making that be black so I know that so I choked it and I spread it so there's no way that my under base is going to be off and it's just on that so what's going to happen is when I print this pink on I'm going to print the white first and then I'll go in and I'll print this pink on top of it and I'm done some people will print a white under base and then they'll print they'll do three screens so they'll do a white under base and then a pink and then come in and do a top white I'm gonna do a white under base and I'm gonna print it a really nice one color white under one hit white under base uh, some people will do two because you got to remember you've got these hands here um, and then I'm gonna print that pink and when I do the pink, those hands are, this white is going to show, okay? Some people will come back and print that white again, but you don't necessarily have to. Now, this is ready to go to print. Um, one thing that we could do is, let me kind of zoom out, zoom this out, back out to page. Ooh. So if I zoom this back out to my page, actually I should have uh, added my registration marks before I started doing all of this stuff. Put my registration marks on here. And you want to design, um, so if you, that's uh, my macro that I've created. Um, so this design is here and it's registered um, and you notice that on here it's a little bit off to the side now I can't move it because if I move this then I need to move um, if I move it from here I also need to move it on the other pages so before you start to do anything you want to totally align it uh, here over here and I believe this is already centered to the center of the page. Um, sometimes it'll look like it's off. Oops, sorry about that. 
I did that to the center of the page. I just want to do an alignment there. So it it was off. Um, so I should have redid that did that beforehand versus doing it afterwards because as you can see uh, at the end then uh, your stuff will be off and I just go in here and put that registration mark on there also and uh, with my plugins uh, the macro plugins that I do uh, you have to select, you know, you might want to go in and select fit to page and then that plugin will show, it'll show uh, on that design. The other thing you could do is you could easily, so now that we've got all three of these, I've got this design, I want to select it and I'm going to copy it. And let's say I wanted to do this on a, as a show this as a mock-up on a page. Let's go here. So I've got that. I've copied it, and I'm going to do a new document. And this new document, I want it to be a regular page size because now I'm doing this for my for my customer. My dogs are going crazy. I do this for my customer. Um, so I'm just going to make that a regular page size and go in and fit that to page. And then I want to um, import that design. We'll paste my design here. So I've got my design here that I'm doing. And let's make sure that it's grouped and there okay now it's grouped i'm going to sit it over to the side here and then i'm going to deselect everything on the page so that my um, plugins will pop up and i've got miss t's job proof here at the top so i'm just going to click that i'm going to let that work for a quick second and let that pull that in you know, Corel 2017 to me has been one of the most stable versions that I've seen. Um, haven't had any issues. There it is. Again, like I said, it's there, but you can't see it, so you want to go in. So now I've got my job proof pulled up. Okay. So I want to take my design and let me go in. I just want to resize it here. And I, this is the front of this design, and I'm just going to plop it here and bring it to the front of the page and bring that on in a little bit more. So these are the hands that's in this design that my customer would see and okay so this is what I'll be sending over to my client now I want to put uh, um, this design on a t-shirt and the t-shirt that this is going to go on, I can do a men's shirt or a lady's shirt. So I'm going to go up here and this is my uh, fitted, uh, ladies fitted t-shirt proof. And I'm just going to click on that and uh, let it run for a second. It's going to take it a minute to pop in. And then again, like I always say, go in and select to fit or to page or whatever. And my ladies macros, they pop up. And this is actually going to be on a black shirt, so I'm not going to have to do anything with it. I'm going to go in, I'm going to ungroup it, and then I'm going to use the ones, pick the ones that I want. And this particular one is black, a black shirt. I'm going to just bring it down here and just move it onto the page. And da 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 da. -da. 
bring it on in to where it fits down on here. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see it. So I've zoomed in and there's my t-shirt color and then I'm going to grab this image and I'm just going to duplicate it. Pull it down, bring it here and I'm going to move it to the front of the page. Make it a little bit smaller so it'll fit on this t-shirt the way that I need it to fit and go in and kind of zoom in where I'm working. I really need to get me a new mouse. I've had this issue with the last couple designs that I've done videos I've done I can't really move everything like I want to because I am and there is my template uh, for my customer and if I want to show the customer what this would look like on different color shirts I can do that now I do have a white outline here on this design and I could easily just go in and remove that outline um, just here let me just ungroup this and, and take that outline off same thing over here just take that outline off okay one thing that you may notice um, is that my desktop is set up a lot different from anyone else's desktop that you will see all of this stuff is custom. I've customized Corel. I go in and I make it work for me. That's the one good thing about Corel is that you can go in and you can make this work for you. So now I have um, a job proof here that I'm not going to put anything on the back because she's not getting in a black any uh, thing. But if I want to, I had those there. Now I'm going to go in and just take, bring this to page. And then only thing I would do now is I will go up here and click this and save this as a PDF. And then once I save that as a PDF, this is ready to email to my client. And actually, I don't know why I don't have a uh, email uh, shortcut but I will probably go in and add that because I do need that on here so what I would do now is I would save this design and send this oh well before I was to save it there are different things on here on my uh, order form that I can go in and put in I could change this change the name of the shirt here the colors of ink which this is going to be white and um, pink and I can't really do too much with this mouse that I'm working with right now but um, you could go in and you could change all of this um, and you know just type in what it is that you want to put and make it be and then save it and send this over to your customer your job proof is ready to go um thanks for watching